four and a half hour drive. We have now made it from Katira all the way to La Pavona. And the reason that we are here is so that we can get a ferry across to Tortuguero. For anyone who's driving with a car, they have plenty of parking here. The parking costs 10 US dollars per day. The ferry leaves from here seven times a day, so you should make sure that you check the schedule so that you hit one of the times that it's actually departing and aren't waiting here for too long. That being said, it is good to arrive half an hour to an hour before the ferry just to make sure that you can park, pay for the parking, and then of course also pay for the ferry. The ferry itself costs 8,000 colones per person. So obviously we paid 16,000 colones return total, so that's there and back, and that's about 32 US dollars. If you pay in either colones or by card, you actually get a better deal on the ferry as opposed to if you pay in US dollars, there seems to be a bit of a surcharge. We have probably about half an hour to 45 minutes before we need to board the boat, so we're going to just hang out in this little restaurant area and relax. It was a long four hour drive. It sure was. I drove it straight through. You did amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Just arrived to our accommodation here in Tortuguero and honestly that ferry ride that we got across the river to get here was absolutely superb. It took about an hour but it felt like absolutely zero time at all. It was like a tour in and of itself so the $16 US for the return ticket here and back was 100% worth it. We got to see a crocodile and an iguana and just it was amazing to be cruising along the river, just absolutely surrounded by pure nature. I think it's like rainforest or jungle. Is that the same thing? I don't know. It was just spectacular. Today has been singled out just as a travel day. So we don't actually have anything planned for the rest of today. With that, we're going to just get used to our new surroundings, chill out, and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. morning! We are starting our day bright and early with a canoe tour around Tortuguero National Park. That's right, it is only 5.30 in the morning, but hopefully this guided tour, so yes, this is the first guided tour that we're doing, allows us to see a lot of animals because this place is rich in biodiversity. Let's go!
we just got back from the tour. It was about two and a half hours long and it was fantastic. I think the highlight animals for me were seeing the spider monkeys, the howler monkeys, and finally a toucan. That was pretty special for me. We didn't just see one, we saw multiple. That was amazing. Yeah, we saw one that was like perched on top of a tree and then we saw a ton of them just flying around. Oh, as well as what was the bird that's, is it endangered? That's rare to see. Yeah, so there's a species of parrot here called the great green macaw, which you can only find in this part of Costa Rica on the Caribbean coast. And they were endangered. They're getting slowly repopulated but it's very rare that you get to see them and we saw a few of them, so that was really special. What else did you enjoy seeing? I mean, honestly, just all of it. Being able to go along the lagoons and rivers and getting a completely different perspective on how to see the wildlife was just really, really cool. Because obviously with the national parks that we've been doing, we've only been doing it by walking, but actually getting to see everything from the water instead, it just meant that we got to reach areas that we wouldn't have otherwise. So. Yeah, really cool experience. The only bummer is that while we were able to see a lot of wildlife, it's so hard to capture it on camera because they're so well camouflaged in the trees. So with the naked eye, you can see them because of the movement, but to capture that on film or even in picture form is really challenging. And also they tend to move so fast. So especially the birds, you see them and then they're gone. The other part to it as well is that a lot of the birds and the monkeys, they're in trees that are about like 30 plus meters tall as well. So like, yes, you can see them with the naked eye, as Rachel said, but like trying to get the appropriate amount of zoom on the camera and then target it and everything like that before they then start moving. It's a real challenge, but hopefully from the footage that we've managed to get today, you'll still be able to understand what we've been able to see and why it was so special. And the crazy thing is that with the canals we went through, apparently there's only four that boats are allowed to go on. All of the others, which I think is close to 50, are protected and you're just not allowed to explore. They're exclusively for the animals, which is, I think, really great hmm. for conservation. But it's amazing what we saw in such a small area. I really enjoyed that. And that was just part one of our tour. This is kind of a combi tour. We paid 45 US dollars per person and it got us this morning canoe tour and then you could choose between either a day walk and a night walk and we have chosen a night walk we haven't done one of those in costa rica yet and we really debated because we were like oh our cameras are gonna be really crappy at night but nick was like well there'll be flashlights and i don't know i think sometimes you just have to do things because you think you'll be able to see something a little bit different. We will do our absolute best to capture what we had, because obviously we would want the memories for ourselves. But if the technology doesn't quite work out for us, then we are very sorry. But in the meantime, it's about 8.30 in the morning and we've already been up for over three hours. So it is time for breakfast. delicious breakfast I feel like we are all fueled up to go exploring. The ticket to Tortuguero National Park not only got us entry onto the river and canals but apparently there are some trails in the park that we can hike as well and we figured while it's light outside we might as well go and try and check it out before the night tour and see if we can see anything different. It's apparently super close by so hopefully we should be at the entrance relatively soon. And all of a minute later here we are. For Tortuguero National Park isn't included in the tour we did this morning or the one we're doing this evening. It's the same tour, just two different parts to it. But the ticket to enter the national park itself costs an additional 15 US dollars per person. We are heading down what is known as the Jaguar Trail. Hopefully we only encounter such an animal from a very, 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 very safe distance. Actually, but... I would prefer not to encounter one at all. Exactly but let's just see what we can find. The ranger at the ticket office told us, I think that this is a two kilometer trail in and then another two kilometer trail back out.
reached the end of the trail. We just got to where we're supposed to turn back on the trail now and we ended up seeing quite a lot actually. So we saw some more howler monkeys, which is amazing. We saw our first snake as well, another hummingbird and otherwise just a load more lizards and things like that. Things that we had maybe seen before, but we've seen a lot more of now. I think this trail was totally worth doing and it's kind of unique because you have the rainforest on one side and then you have the Caribbean Sea on the other and so I think we're going to go check that out and walk along there if we can on the way back. here to the right of me is the Caribbean Sea and this is the first time I've ever seen it. Can I confirm? It looks lovely. We've just taken a bit of a walk along the beach and the reason that the beach is so special and protected here is because it is a breeding ground for about five different kinds of turtle. Unfortunately we will probably not be able to see any of them because the nesting season is between July and October so we've been told and the other reason why we haven't stayed on there too long or gone in the water is because we've heard that the shoreline in particular is a feeding habitat for bull sharks and they are quite aggressive so we don't want to get caught up in that at all. That all said though it is an absolutely lovely sight. This entire walk so far has been an absolute treat. I'm looking forward to seeing if we can see anything more. After coming back from our solo day walk, AKA not guided, all we did was make ourselves some lunch and we've just been chilling in the room because obviously we've had an active day. We were up at like 5.20, we went on our guided canoe trip, we did the two hour day walk, and now this is part two of the guided tour, a night walk, and I'm really excited since we haven't done one at all while in Costa Rica. Pretty pumped, let's check it out.
hours later and we are back where we started, but what a phenomenal experience. A night walk is a totally different experience than walking during the day and that may sound like an obvious statement, but if you come to Costa Rica, you have to do a night walk in one of the places that you come to because the wildlife that you're able to see is just immense. It's so amazing. Yeah, we ended up seeing so much. And this is even considering the fact that like, we have already seen so much as it is with all of the places that we've gone to and all the walks we've done. I mean, we saw, what, three sloths, two cute sleeping bats, snakes, spiders, frogs, like a whole menagerie of stuff. And like, I think in terms of kind of the hit rate of animals that we got during our time, I think it's definitely the best that we've experienced. Yeah, I mean, there was a toucan. Yeah. That was actually still for long enough for us to capture it. That was amazing. We saw some sleeping vultures, which was a complete bonus. We weren't expecting to see really any birds at no. all. No, crickets and grasshoppers. Yeah, just so much to see and it was truly amazing. But just keep in mind, you wouldn't be able to see this without a guide. And we don't recommend that you do it on your own anyway, because Lord only knows how unsafe that might be. So definitely doing it with a guide would be the only way we would ever recommend you do it. Yeah, this was just absolutely fabulous and I highly recommend this if you come to Costa Rica, just doing it somewhere. This is probably one of the highlights from me, although pretty much all of Costa Rica is just a big highlight. Yeah, seconded. This has been a really, really good way to cap off the vast majority of our sightseeing that we've done around this country and it's been just a truly wonderful time. All tonight did was just remind me how great this country is and how much everybody should be coming to visit. But I am quite tired now because we pretty much did three tours today. Yeah. Like I know it was only one paid for tour that comprised two parts, the morning canoe and then the night walk. But then because we also did a daytime walk by ourselves, I wonder how many steps I have. I almost have 17,000 steps, so. Yeah, it's been a big, big day that had a really early start and has really been kind of split into three pretty sizable sessions. So while it has been absolutely wonderful and we've seen so much today, it has also been pretty exhausting to the point where I think we're just going to eat and turn in, really. Mm -hmm. But again, we cannot speak highly enough of the night walk experience particularly here in Tortuguero, but anywhere else in Costa Rica, it really just elevates that whole wildlife watching experience. Thank you to our amazing tour guide, Manuel. Absolutely. But I think that's it for now. Until next time, take care. And keep smiling.